What's up, Journey Moore? Today I'm gonna be showing you three different fire building methods that will help in a lot of different situations. So stick around. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Now the three methods that I'm gonna be going over today are the lean-to, the TP, and the star method. Each of these have a different use and a different reason as to why you would want to build these types of fires. We'll get into that later, but first there are three main points to whenever you build a fire. Number one, be prepared. Number two, start small. And number three, have patience. If you want to see these more in depth, you can jump over to our other video where we go through the log cabin method. We'll leave a link up top. You can also click the link in the description below or the link at the end of the video. But in that, we go over these three points. These are so, so important. So tip number one of be prepared is make sure you have everything laid out ready to go. As you can see, we've got rocks around here, around this fire pit. This makes it safe, keeps the fire from spreading. We also have gathered everything that we need, and that is all of our sticks and logs. So over here, we've got our kindling and our little sticks. This is what we're gonna use to start, and then we're gonna move up in size until we get to these larger logs, which is gonna make that fire last and sustain. Now the star method is a great method for when you need a small fire that you can easily control. This is perfect for an area with a lot of brush and a lot of flammable things around you because you can keep this fire right where it is and just control it from there. Another great time is if you're staying in a shelter or maybe you built a shelter for the night and you it's very cold and you need a fire that's gonna burn all night and keep you warm. This is a great one to have. I'm gonna start by actually digging a bit of a crater in the ground. As you can see here, these logs I've put right here over the crater and I've got my kindling in the crater. Now the kindling that I like to use is just the very flaky bark that comes off of cedar trees. This is incredibly flammable. It'll start very quickly it'll burn right through and burn those little sticks. So I'm gonna put that down in here. I'm gonna make sure it stays loose. That way there's lots of airflow that can come down in here because oxygen is needed for a fire. So from here, I'm gonna take my really small twigs. These are literally like as small as you can get them, pinhead thickness. And I'm gonna put these in here in the middle. Again, I'm gonna keep them loose because I don't want these to be so tight that they don't burn. So I'm gonna just keep them loose here, put them right on top, and then from there, I'm gonna take my larger twigs and I'm gonna put those on top of that. Now this is kind of a messy fire. Some people will do like a log cabin method or a TP method within that. Right now, I'm just kind of throwing them on there because I know that this is gonna catch and it's gonna burn fairly easily. So from here, I've got a lighter. Lighters make it easier, but normally if you just have matches, you only wanna use one match. So I'm gonna light this, I'm gonna get down low, I'm gonna blow right into it. I'm not gonna blow on top of the fire, I'm gonna blow next to it. That's gonna create that airflow in there help it to burn, help it to start. As this burns, then I can move these in. And then as you need more heat, as you need more fuel, you just push these in. Those tips will burn, create more fire. So very simple method, again, for those areas where you really need to manage and control a fire. This is a great one. As this fire burns, if you need to just stop the burn, you just pull all these logs away. 
and you don't have to use five logs you can use four logs you can use more but this is just a simple way very easy to show very simple start with these five logs so now we'll move on to the next method and that'll be the lean-to now the lean-to method is the perfect method for when it's windy it's actually very windy right now so this is a great time to build this type of fire another great thing about it is it helps get a larger log started right away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our kindling and our small twigs we're actually gonna place the kindling we're gonna keep it loose again because we want that oxygen in here and we're gonna place it next to the log then from here we're gonna take these smaller twigs again as small as you can get them just like the thickness of a pinhead and we're actually just gonna lean them up against the larger log over the kindling. So there you have it, lean to. I've got my twigs leaned up, I've got my kindling underneath. So I'm gonna light this, it's gonna start to burn. Again, I'm gonna get down there and blow in here. And this is gonna make it, those flames build up, catch these twigs on fire, resulting in this log being caught on fire too. Then from here, as these twigs burn, I'm just gonna continue to add twigs and sticks to that until it's large enough that I can add more logs to it. But again, this log, because the wind is blowing in from this direction, it's actually creating a barrier that's not gonna blow this out. So that's why this is a great method to use when it's windy. Now the TP method is probably the most widely used and the easiest to do. The great thing about a TP fire is it gets the flames up high quickly so you can begin to build up very easily. So first thing you're gonna do is get your kindling balled up, ready to go, ready to be lit. So again, this stuff is very loose because I want that airflow in there. And this is some of that flaky bark off of a cedar tree. Now from here, I'm gonna set up my smallest twigs in a TP formation. So I'm going to take my first two and put them up against each other. That way they hold each other up and from here I'm going to bring these around and start building off of that. Once I get through with my smallest twigs I'm actually going to want to bring in some larger sticks not huge, still small, that are gonna be taller. Because again, as I said, this is a fire that's very easy to build up. So I want a taller TP on top of this smaller TP. It usually makes it easier if you put two on at a time. That way you're not throwing off the balance of the TP. All right, now that I've got this built up like I want it, I'm gonna light it from the bottom, light that kindling. I'm gonna get down there and blow right next to it that way those flames rise and catch all of this on fire. The only negative about a TP fire is if you're wanting to cook food and cook it fast, you'll have to let this burn down to coals because you don't ever cook food over an open flame of a fire. You wanna make sure that you get those coals very hot and then cook your food over that. So it might take a little more time to get that burned down to those coals. But that's why you use the log cabin method, which if you jump over to our other video, you can check that out. And that'll go into more detail of how to start a fire, how to be prepared, and then showing you that specific method. There 
there you have it. That's three different fire building methods that are diverse for different situations. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love for you to be a part of the Journey More community. Also hit that notification bell. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Friday of every week. So you don't want to miss that. Come journey more with us. And we'll see you next time.